Most business owners are missing out on tons of traffic because they just haven't made a toggle on seven switches I'm gonna show you now for your Google business profile. And in my one-to-one -one consulting, I've seen many business owners just not realize that they're missing out on great traffic because they haven't put these switches on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what those settings are, exactly which ones you need to change, and make sure that you get traffic from Google Maps and Google search engine. And there's a few bonuses along the way, so look out for them too. So let's take setting number one. Google makes lots of tweaks and updates on a regular basis. And the person who embraces those changes first normally gets a lot of extra traffic. So you're definitely gonna to want to know about how you can make sure you get these updates into your inbox. And also know when you get new reviews, when to reply to them, how to also react to various changes when it comes to your business, maybe a Q&A comes along. How do you get that information in your inbox so you can react straight away, giving positive signals to Google? Well, it's really easy. It's just a few switches. I'll show you exactly where they are. All you need to do is go into the three dots when you've logged into your profile. And there, then you'll see next to three dots, see there where it says notifications. And then you just then go down and just toggle off these ones here. If you want them via email, if you want to be alerted to any of these, just toggle them on. Now I'd say put them all on for now and then gradually take them off if you get too many things coming through. So if you want to know about new reviews, new bookings, you want to reply to quotes that come through via email, this is perfect. And a lot of business owners don't even know anything about these settings. And here's a little bonus, if you want to know more about the very latest things as well in your inbox, of course, I also have an email that gets released once a week that keeps you up to date as a business owner. So don't miss out on that as well. So then setting number two, did you know you can take bookings through Google Assistant? And this is a great way of providing a huge amount of extra bookings. And at the same time, it saves you then having to answer the phone all the time. So all you do is you go to those three dots and then on your business profile, you look at business profile settings. And then you go to advanced settings and there you'll see Google Assistant calls. So under Google Assistant calls, there you can then toggle this on or off for bookings. And again, a great way to get new bookings coming through. Now setting number three is one that you probably just need to update from time to time and also appreciate its value. And it's down under the description because the description in effect is like a free advert for your business. It does show up on the knowledge panel. People do come across it and read it and then go to your business profile settings and then go to description. And there you'll see you've got up to 750 characters to edit. You might want to update. So rather than say 25 years experience now, it's 27 years experience and also just read it through, make sure you're still able to fulfill all those things written in that description. And don't forget the first 250 characters often get used by Google. So Google gets a good understanding of your business based on these particular settings in your description. So do think about the words you're using, think in terms of keywords, but also think in terms of using all 750 characters if you can and it makes sense. Now setting number four is often misunderstood and it may be the reason why you're not getting any traffic whatsoever. If you find inquiries have slowed down or visitors don't seem to visit you at all any longer at your shop or your location, this may be the reason why. So what is that? Well, you need to make sure your business is actually on the map in the correct place. And we're not talking about zoomed out, we're talking about zoomed in on the correct place. So how do you go about that? Well, go to your business information, click on location, and then click the pencil. And then here you'll be able to zoom in and out. You'll be able to make sure that your pin is exactly on the area that you want it. So don't forget, sometimes changes are made by Google. Sometimes their guides even make changes. And if the pin was put on the map when it was miles out, it can be in the right area as a town goes or a city goes, but it might be quite a way out of the location where you are. So you do need to just check this and make sure that then that's exactly where it should be. Then when you save that, you may find that starts to bring in greater traffic in the coming weeks ahead. Now for setting number five, just imagine having your business and no one rings because you then find out that for some time now, your phone number hasn't been shown to the public. No wonder they're not ringing. And you know what? There's a setting that can switch your phone number back on so people can see it. So where's that? And how do you go about putting that setting on and checking that yours is okay? Well, simply all you do is you go to your three dots, you go to business profile settings, 
Then go into advanced settings and there you'll see the phone number. Now you want to toggle this on or off depending, so you need to read it because it's not actually a case of putting it on by toggling it on, but when you toggle it on, you're actually turning the number off. So if it's on already, that may be the reason why your number isn't showing. Now I wanted to give you a bonus setting that most people don't realize exists. And it's all to do with making sure that you can have other people managing your business for you. Now I manage quite a few businesses and they have to enable me as a owner or as a business owner or as a manager. But what do they choose to have? Well, normally a manager is fine. And there's a way in which you can do this. So if you've got two or three people that manage your business, just make sure that you've got them toggled on the right areas. So to do that, you need to go into business, so the three dots, business profile settings, and then people and access. Now you can toggle whether a user for your business profile is a manager or an owner, and they do give some differences. The entitlements are different, so make sure you're not granting too much information to someone, but at the same time, make sure that being a manager, that's a pretty good starting point. Most people would be able to use that and be useful with that. So I hope that's a useful little bonus for you if you do have your business managed. Now, setting number six is all about managing your attributes. And again, this will give you some extra ranking if Google realizes that people are searching for some of the attributes that you have. So simply put, to get to attributes, you just need to go into your business information. And there at the bottom there, you see all these various attributes. Now, just to say yours will be different to mine because shops will have different things to restaurants, will have different things to businesses, to doctors, window cleaners, to car owners, to car sellers, to holiday makers, travel agents, everyone's different. So your attributes need to be correct to your business. And if you do have wheelchair access, if you do have various ways in which you can use languages, for example, you can click these on and then they will get you shown on specific searches. And particularly with the new AI but showing up and Google Gemini, you'll notice some big changes and some more traffic will come your way if you get these right. So just go through those, make sure that your products, your services, Google Pay, Google Maps, Google Search will all point people your way if you have a specific attribute that's enabled on there. And setting number seven is all about special hours. So you may already have your normal hours and you may know about holiday hours, but what about special hours? Things like if you have, say, a drop-off time, or if you have a pickup time, or if there's a time in your business where you have a happy hour, maybe if it's a restaurant or a pub or a winery. The point is, is you have perhaps some specific times where you want people to know about it. And this again will help your business stand out and rank when people are looking for those things. So to do that, you just go into business information, you click on more, and then you'll go down to hours or more hours. And now you can go through each of these and just make sure that if any of them stand out, then do put them in there. So you perhaps put happy hour in uh, for a certain hour at a certain time for your business. And that will just enable people to find it on those particular times. And sometimes Google will use it to make your business stand out amongst other businesses. So they have all those settings toggled up, all nicely optimized, all ready to go for your business. So what you need now is a few tips to take your business right to the top. And I've done a brilliant video that's got 37 tips that are gonna help you do that right now. So I'll see you on this next video.